Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hey, this is Fred from Cleveland. I know it's been a lot of criticism about why we're not running the ball a whole lot lately, and it might have to do with our offensive line being going from rank fifth to like 20-something. Our depth at the center position or lack of depth has really hurt us, and it's like we're just getting mangled now. And Conklin doesn't seem like the lineman that he used to be, but I'm still all in. Go Browns. Roof, roof. As always, appreciate all of the voicemails. Let's welcome in Ashley Bastock, Browns beat reporter of Plain Dealer and Cleveland.com. Ashley, Browns are on their third center. I, you, 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 that's always going to be a problem. There's only 53 guys on a roster and 22 positions. Yeah, and really, it's like maybe they're on their fourth center, actually, <laughs> because I think everyone has maybe forgotten about Dawson Deaton, who, right. again, he was a seventh-round pick. Like, who knows if he would have made the roster, but he was at least a center that they drafted, and he tore his ACL two or three days after Nick Harris had his own season-ending injury against Jacksonville in that preseason game. I do think injuries are, once again, like a huge part of this offensive line. And last year, you know, we saw those injuries happening at the tackle spots in particular, right? Like Jed Wills played through a hurt ankle all year, and Jack Conklin, of course, had a series of injuries, including his season-ending torn patellar tendon. Um, but this year, I mean, the center injuries, I think, have just killed them. And I say all the time, you don't appreciate how important it is to have a good center or a reliable center until you no longer have one. And I think Yelda Froholt has has stepped into different roles along this offensive line and played really well when they needed him. But playing center, starting center is a big ask, I think. So there really is, I think, a ceiling with him uh, that you wouldn't have if you had Ethan Posick or Nick Harris in there, the two guys you planned on playing most of those snaps. And, you know, I do think, too, interior Wyatt Teller has been battling, you know, a calf injury and playing her for a big chunk of this year. So I think both of those things you, you kind of noticed. And on top of that, it's adjusting to a quarterback who, you know, scrambles more than, than any quarterback these guys have played with before. So I think this adjustment period coupled with injuries has really kind of hampered this offensive line. And, and you see it on Sundays. Yeah.